Welcome everyone back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another course vlog and we're going to be announcing a new series. So from here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and drop a like because why not? And let's start playing some golf. We hit the most hilly tee shot. We have 240 left on a short par four. Not ideal, but what we can do here. Oh my gosh, we clipped the tree. That was gonna be so good. We have 74 yards left. I'm gonna hit a sand wedge instead of my log wedge. I'm gonna try and keep this one low. Got a chance at par, we'll see. Alright, we have a random guy sitting here on the left side. These weren't the people in front of me, so I'm just gonna go. Because it looks like he's just getting balls out of the water, so. I'm gonna try and hit one up the right side here. Try to play a little cut. Not necessarily a cut, but that thing was absolutely perfect. We have another awkward distance here. We have 111 yards. So this is like my 125, 130 car, car club. Um, and then I have 100, 105 club, but the wind's in the face. So um, I'm gonna try and play almost like a knockdown approach. And uh, hopefully we get the distance right. Nice. It's a good spot to miss. We're gonna have a tough left to right putt. We left it low side, so that's okay. Alright y'all, so we are introducing my first content series. This is going to be me trying to get to scratch in the next 90 days. But I have to get my official handicap, so I am recording a more detailed score, I guess you could say. So I'm tracking my fairway set, my green set, how many putts I've hit, and how many times I've gotten up and down, just to keep up with stats and see how I need to improve. The past couple of rounds, I've realized that I am putting so bad, so I know that is something that I really need to spend some time on. Anyways, let's go ahead and tee off on hole number three. Wow. I caught a real break right there. I don't know if y'all saw me. I don't know if y'all saw me shift right before I hit that putt, but that's the reason why I missed it. So we'll take our first bogey of the day. The wind is behind us. We're gonna tee it high and let it fly. Oh, that's crushed right at the tree. We got underneath it though. That's a good ball. Absolutely crushed our tee shot. We hit it 315 yards, which is ridiculous. We have 174 yards in. We're gonna hit a nice solid eight iron. Oh, keep on drawing. Holy moly, that wind is picking up. We just flew that, if I had to guess, we probably just flew that eight iron probably like 184. It's absolutely crushed, but we do have a five to 10 mile an hour breeze behind us. No, it's gone. 
That's such a hard chip. You're looking at this chip. Hopefully y'all can see this. I have to land this. Literally, I have to stop this right here for it to stop by the hole. And I just hit it a hair bit long and it went straight down the hill. But now we've got a 20 footer for birdie. Crushed it. All right. There we go, nice and tall right there. It sucks because I hit such a great drive right there. I literally hit a 315 yard drive, but that just goes to show you need good distance be control. Um, simply because, I mean, I hit that eight iron perfect, but because I didn't factor in the wind, I should have hit nine iron and should have landed my first shot where I just hit my set or my yeah my second putt but it's okay we still got a par so let's move on to the next hole all right y'all this is one of the toughest tee shots on this course we're really just looking for a fairway finder here and uh trying to hit this pretty straight so see what we can do My hips got so far behind me. Uh, we're gonna be hunting for that one. We have 170 left. We didn't found our ball, luckily, it's sitting up here on this little thing. However, there's a root right here. And uh, so I'm gonna hit hybrid. We're gonna try and hit a little that, whatever that is. A little like sliding cut. Underneath this tree is the goal, so let's see what we can do. I didn't get it up enough, quick enough. It's a really tough shot, but it's a really good layup. We advanced it probably 120 yards. All right, y'all, so we have 41 yards left. The flag is in the front. The wind's behind us, so we're not gonna get a ton of spin here. We really need to flight this one high and land it close. I pulled it. The good thing is, is it checked up a little bit, but we're gonna have 15 feet for birdie probably. Or par. Missed the line. I I don't know. I, I probably should have had it right here instead of up here. Because I definitely I hit the leaf. I just went a little past it, but oh well. It's another bogey. So I wanted to talk about the new series and I really just kept up with everything on my phone here. So it's gonna be 90 days road to scratch, and I have a lot of plans for this. I've been talking to a lot of people in the golf community and I think it's going to turn out very well. So first of all, I'm going to be doing a lot of drills on the range. I'm going to be making full videos like this um, on the range as well as on the chipping green. Um, additionally, I'm going to be doing course vlogs so we can kind of track my progress as far as stats goes. Also y'all are going to be able to track my stats also on the live handicap website. I forget exactly what it's called. but. When we get further down the road, I'll link that in the bio as well. So as far as the content schedule, I'm actually going to be doing the Sunday Stinger. I'm keeping that because that does really well. Monday is going to be stat motivation. So we're going to see after each week, we're going to see how my stats have either increased um, or decreased. So we're going to say what we need to work on or what maybe we've improved on. Then we have Tuesday, we have the training. So that's probably going to be a training range day. These are also all shorts. Um, Wednesday we have uh, half fun so we're just gonna post something that I'm currently enjoying if it's something that y'all want to see I'm gonna be posting stuff like that uh, then we have Thursday we're gonna be training short games so I'm just gonna be pretty much showing y'all what how I'm training that week in my practicing pitch shots chip shots whatever it may be um, then we have Friday this is gonna be my sort of viral attempts if you didn't see my Chewbacca swing or my how 
Uh, if golfers sounded like tennis players, that's what that's going to be. Monday is going to be our get better day, so it's going to be us talking about our stats. And then additionally, it's going to be us sort of going through some training, so chipping, uh, range days, whatever it may be. Um, and then we're going to have our Friday course vlogs as normal. So um, I'm really excited for this schedule, and I hope y'all are too. We have 188 yards here. The wind is constantly in the face. So I'm going to try and hit a very smooth 5 iron. So, um, really just trying to get this on the green um, and two putt. Unless I pull it. We did get over, I'm pretty sure, but we missed the green. This is a really odd shot. I'm pretty sure this is breaking left, even though the green is slanted this way. I'm really just gonna go right at it and really just try and roll it out. Try and like hood the wedge a little bit and try and force it to come left a little bit, I think. That's a pretty good chip right there. Absolutely missed it. That was such a tough putt to read. Yet another bogey. God, that's crushed. So we hit that drive 288 yards into the wind, which is great. We now have 176 left into the wind. I'm going to hit 8 iron and the reason why I'm doing that is I'm probably going to be a little short. However, everything that I'm trying to hit easy, I'm just pulling left. So I'm going to commit to this and see if I can really come up short because the flag is in the back and I'd rather be short than long here. Push it a little right. And we're short. I'm just not, I'm not striking the ball well today. <laughs> right, we're in another musket up and down situation. So this is not a shot that I typically play, but I know it's a shot that I need to get better at. So I'm gonna play a little bump and run with the eight iron. Really just trying to land it. I can see a ball mark on the green that I'm really aiming for. Should break left towards the hole. So see what we can do. That's where we need to get better on that shot. I hit that a little too low. I wanted a little more pop, but it's all right. <laughs> ah, just can't get anything to fall. Another bogey. All right, so we're gonna use this as sort of like a committing swing. I'm really just gonna swing like super firm. I can't get to the bunker with this club and really just trying to get my tempo back here. So let's just make a solid golf swing right here. Well, that's pretty solid. We carried it right there. Yes, let's go. All right, y'all, we made an absolutely terrible golf swing there. Um, we were trying to make a solid one and absolutely did not. Now we have 196 in here. Should I be hitting five iron and going for the green with how I'm swinging today? Absolutely not. I should probably be laying up on this par three, but uh, we're just gonna go for it. That's the best swing of the day right there. I think we're just off the edge, but we got over. Good par. All right, y'all, that is a confidence booster. Parring that last hole was incredible. Honestly, we shouldn't have got one there, but um, we have par five, number nine. I put a good driver swing up there. Really just want to get a par at the worst here. So, um, I'm gonna line up, 
really just need to commit to this driver's wing. And we did. Hit that right at my target line. Nice little draw, probably held against the hill. That's a good shot. If we've got wind in the face, no way we're getting it there. So I'm just going to hit a little seven iron layup. Try and keep it low and then play. And we did the opposite of that. Should still be in play, but just missed it right. All right, y'all. 74 yards in. Gonna commit to a lob wedge here and hope she rolls in because we need it. That's right on it. Hopefully that got above the hill. If not, we have a very hard putt left. For birdie to end it out. We're birdieing hole number nine. I guess that's a good thing. To conclude this round, we hit three fairways. We hit three greens in regulation. We hit six, 16 putts. And we got up and down twice out of, out of seven times. We only shot one over, two over, three over, four over. We only shot three over, we shot 39. And we have so much room to improve. I, I think we can get to this scratch golfer by 90 days. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.